Raise that flag, guys. We're raising the flag tonight. Yeah, we needed someone to raise a flag at an elementary school. Hey, I know it's not Wrigley Field, but you know what? I got to raise a flag today. Big Poppy! Big Poppy! The last time I saw him, I saw him dancing like this. Yeah, Big Poppy! Oh, man, a Lego! Do me a favor. Would you sign a ball for me? Seriously? See you later. Thanks. I just feel like Kevin Millar, he just talks too much. When I say Lauren Shahadi, you say... Underrated. Matt Vaskersian. Matt Vaskersian. Seat filler. Donuts! You guys are on Donuts with Dem. Ah, uh, Donuts with Demp. We had some fun with our friend Ryan Dempster during the season, and it's nice Love to see that. you here in the winter. Happy nice. New Year to good you, Good to man. see you guys. Haven't did you like you. that segment this year? I loved it. You did? Okay, I loved good. it even when I didn't love it. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to ask you about that. When you were groundskeeper and you tripped and fell uh -huh. in Chicago, do people know who you are? Or did they actually no, think you are part of the ground they thought I was part of the grounds crew. And the best was <laughs> the, the visiting team. They all just you hear sniper. Oh, like you just hear everybody yelling. And then as I'm going down the stairs, you can see they saw me and they're like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> he, did, he did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, uh, we have a lot to get to you with and not a lot of time to do it. And are you are you filling in for uh, Millar today? Is that what's going on? Yeah, everybody's filling in for Millar this week. He's... No, it's only former Marlins, apparently, that can fill oh, in for Millar because nice. uh, it's it's been Al Leiter. It's you today. Tomorrow, Lowell. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Cliff Floyd. Then next week, Josh Willingham, Luis Castillo, and Vladimir Nunez will be filling in for Millar as well. Only, Tripod. Oh, yeah, only former Marlins. And I know that you're busy because you got the big uh, Diamond Resorts uh, Invitational Golf Tournament coming up this weekend. So we appreciate squeezing us in here. Let's ask you about this pace of play stuff. Yeah. Because Rosenthal was reporting about that earlier. Um, you as a pitcher. What would this have done to you if there's a pitch clock, if the catcher visits are limited? Do you have thoughts on it? I would have been so excited because I always tell them, stop coming out here. Really? Like, I just feel like I don't know what's happened in baseball that pitchers can't think for themselves out there. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is. There used to be a moment where you would go over a game plan before the game. You'd sit there. You'd be like, okay, hey, we're going to pitch this guy this way. And I understand things get adjusted. You know, guys are attacking you a different way. But guys never came out. like They come out all the time. And I don't know if it starts... Look at it this way. College pitchers don't think for themselves ever. Yeah, that's sad. And now all of a sudden they go to pro ball and then they they still don't think, they don't know how to think for themselves. They rely on the coach because if they don't listen to the coach, they don't pitch, they don't play. The same with the catcher. Create that chemistry and start it in spring training. Have that in spring training. Work on, hey guys, no catcher visits in spring training. Figure it out on your own. Because you know why? If I give up eight, it's not on the back of my baseball card. Nobody cares about our spring training stats, but we've made spring training all of a sudden. It's important now whether we win or lose. We can bet on it in Las Vegas. There's odds on a game. No, it doesn't matter. It's about development and getting ready for the start of the season. So I think if you have that, you're actually going to find the flow of the game going better. Pit, look, look at a, a, a basketball player, right? Shooting. Gets hot. They just keep feeding him ball. He's shooting. He keeps draining them. If you stop feeding him the ball, he stops making the shot. Same with pitching. If you get in a groove and you're throwing pitches, I don't want the catcher out there disrupting me. You know, you see a guy get 0-2 with the bases loaded and whoop. You know, it's like you, in football, you've gone from the, the, your own 20 down to the 5, running the 2-minute offense. Now let's slow it down. Yeah, but do, you, do other people agree with you? Other I think, yeah, absolutely. Most people feel that way? Yeah. I, I think so. I think that they do. I think that it, it just... The disrupt, good yeah, it disrupts the game. Look at Max Scherzer. He's the best in baseball at this. He works the quickest. He's on the mound. Give me the ball. Let's go. I got a game plan. Stay off the mound. I don't need you out here. And I think if you teach that at a younger age uh, in the minor leagues and develop these guys that way to think for themselves, I think that the game will speed up a little bit. The whole pitch clock thing is going to be irrelevant if you stop the catchers from coming out. So let, let me ask you this. I remember going out and talking to Mark Langston. He'd look at me and go, what do you want? What are you doing out here? Do you have a story? Uh... Yeah, there's been a couple. I think Mark, Mike, Mike Redman was the best. He came out one time, and I kind of lost it, you know. I was, like, frazzled. I'd walk the guy. I'm 2-0 on the next guy, and here comes Red, and he's like, Demp, how we doing? I was like, I just turned around. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing out here, man. I can't throw strikes. The ball's going all over the place. And he just went, whoa, dude. <laughs> I was just thinking about how many Bud Lights you want to drink after the game. And all of a sudden, it just diffused me. I calmed down. Next thing you know, I pumped strikes. So I think there's a way of managing it. But, like, the position player, get out of there, dude. I don't need your help. When I'm 2-0, I know I'm 2-0. I don't need you to come <laughs> fake grab the rosin bag, start bouncing around and go, oh, hey, uh, you'll, you'll be all right. I know I'll be all right. You'll yeah. be all right if you get out of here, you know? <laughs> hey, Cubs convention this weekend. Yeah. Right? Big deal. 
I mean, everybody yeah. has their winter caravan. Every franchise does something like this, but this might be the biggest of all the, of all the winter events for baseball. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, John McDonough started this years ago when he's uh, with the Cubs, and and now obviously with the Blackhawks. And you can see here we have we have a lot of fun. So you host this. What are you doing? You got a little talk show piece going. Is it's that a, it's about a two and a half hour talk show. I bring up numerous guests from Theo Epstein and Jed Hoyer, the manager Joe Madden, all the way down the line. This year we got special guest Jeff Garland up on stage. So oh, nice. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We do a lot of interactive. We play games. Uh, we get interactive with the audience and uh, and do a lot. How of How far stuff. out do you start preparing for this? Uh, I've been at it for a while. We film a lot of little digital shorts like we do for Donuts with Demp and a lot of little fun little videos and it's a hoot and you know I just tweeted out this morning if you got a question for any of the players uh, we're gonna open it up a little bit this year I'm gonna pick a few questions you want to know you know what a uh, certain player wears what kind of underwear let me know and uh, and I'll throw that at so, you. And so. truly keeping the spirit of Harry Carey alive I saw the oils on the counter there you actually have the Bud Lights and the Buds popped on the counter That's, there? Hey Budweiser sponsors it you know we don't have a keg yet Budweiser where you at? <laughs> throw that out there up on stage so I don't even have to worry about twisting <laughs> off. But, yeah, they load us up pretty good. And, and as you can see by the guys, some of them are loaded up pretty good when they get up there, which is, <laughs> which is always nice at the end of the night. I'm doing my mo Matt Foley motivational speaker here. Um, it's, a, it's a blast. It's a great time. It's, it's nuts. I mean, there there's so many Cub fans there. I bet. You want to try if you're a player and you're trying to sneak through the lobby. Good luck. Your your back eleva elevator, your secret staircase. You got to get around there. It's it's pretty uh, pretty That's intense. That's a TV show. Why are we not Love carrying it. that thing? Ryan oh, thanks, thanks, on thanks, hot stove. Char.